The settings you use in Project Delta are extremely important, as they give you an advantage over your opponents. Look at the difference here. These settings don't just give you a tactical advantage, but also increase your performance. First, let's start with window settings. For window settings, I use Helzerg Optimizer, which optimizes all window settings for you. Just Google Helzerg Optimizer, then go to the GitHub link and download it. Then open it and copy my settings. If you use Xbox Live to record, then don't turn this on. For startup apps, just remove anything you don't want starting up, and this will get you more performance. To do that, just select the box, and then hit delete. Next are the power plan settings. Windows search power plan, and select the first thing. Then go on power plan settings, and hit power options and turn on high performance. This improves your performance but uses more energy. Next, we're going to set the paging file on your SSD for faster performance. First, go to your Windows search bar and search up advanced system and hit the first thing that shows up. Then under performance, hit settings, go to advanced, and under virtual memory, hit change. Then you're going to want to set your paging file to your SSD. Then hit apply and OK. And you're going to have to restart your PC for this. Next, we're disabling hardware acceleration. Hardware acceleration is on Discord and Chrome and many other apps, but basically it uses up a bunch of resources, so we're going to disable that. Search up hardware, then hit advanced, and then turn off hardware acceleration. This next part is for NVIDIA systems only, so if you don't have an NVIDIA graphics card, just skip it. Next, we're going to go in the NVIDIA control panel. Under 3D settings, you're going to want to hit manage 3D settings, then go to program settings and select add, and then you're going to want to add Roblox. From there, just copy my settings. Look for the things in bold. Next, we're going to adjust the desktop color settings. This is also in the NVIDIA control panel. Whenever playing, I turn my gamma up to 2. And this is just preference, but I always have my digital vibrance on 100. But when you turn up your gamma, I would recommend turning up your vibrance to around 75. For people with an AMD GPU, on the AMD app, select the settings gear on the top right. Then on the top left, choose display. And on the right will be your gamma settings. Finally, we're going to go over in-game settings. Hit your inventory key and go in settings on the top right. Then go all the way down and you're going to want to make your saturation all the way up and your contrast all the way down. Then apply and your game looks less like a 1900 silent film. Everything's a lot brighter and it looks great. Next, you're going to want to go in your Roblox settings and we're messing with the graphics quality. So for lower end devices, I'd recommend around 4, 5, or 6. At 4 and 5, the shadows start disappearing, but personally I use 8 because it caps out on the render distance and it doesn't use the maximum graphics quality saving you FPS. And that's pretty much everything. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If this video helped you out, make sure to like and subscribe and comment other guides that I could do. Now with all that out of the way, I hope you guys have a good one. Goodbye.